It's gonna be short. It's not gonna be one of the long ones because this, I'm, I'm ending clips. Uh, no, it's not really hemp aid. It says water in the hemp aid bottle that I got. There. It says hemp aid tea, nine medicinal herbs, 100% premium hemp root. But that's not it. Oh, it's lime. Lime is in here. Lime tea. Lime is very good for you. Please, you out. But it's not in this one. This is this is water, and with that the cell thing, whatever it is. Um, in case you don't know, the, the uh, I'm at my sister's. I'm at my sister's house. But what, what I'm trying to do, what I'm doing this thing. See, oh, let's start over. When I started my this, a series on YouTube, it's really just to uh, sort of document my life and stuff like that with things in my life. And then AWS came along, and so I tried to incorporate you know, those things like that and things that's pertaining to, you know, American descent of chattel slavery and condition that we are in or been in. And uh, so uh, right now, uh, uh, yesterday, I did a big, uh, earlier, I did a big thing on uh, No More Radio, radio program that I, uh, I still am associated with. Actually, you 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 actually listen to No More Radio right now. You don't know that, but some other time I'll explain it to you. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, there's been another faction is um, is, is the, uh, what I, uh, the people I helped or what I call my radio children and stuff like that and grandchildren. Um, uh, so, so just a little bit about what, where I come from. I'm, I'm like a weird uh, anomaly when I had a big family, I had, you know, six brothers and sisters, but, you know, five of us were raised together, then it came down to four of us were raised together, and then the twins had to go, with, twins uh, was part of that horrific thing at, at Willowbrook, you know, the snake pit that, 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 uh, that Robert, Robert Kennedy, it's a long story, I won't, I don't want to get into that, it's too, uh, too personal, anyway, so then it really ended up, and then my younger brother, you know, went the criminal route, and my older brother is my older brother, he's like, he's like a master He's a master vagabond. He's a master survivor, you know. And so basically, out of the whole lineage, and it came down from my, my, my grandmother's side. My grandmother is a full Mohawk and uh, from Geechee, and she has a spiritual kind of thing. And a good, like, Aunt Minnie is, was raised down there, too, and, 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 and Aunt Gertie or whatever. So they're all kind of just like spiritual, you know, like reading, reading tea leaves and all the rest of that stuff. But in my little thing, I would always try to share. You know, so I grew up in a family. I always try to share. When I came home, I, like I learned chess, and I go go on and teach my teach my my, sis, my younger sister, my brother chess, and stuff like that. Anything like that. And then uh, about nine years old, I got involved in the cadet corps, and then that again was groupings. I've always been a part of groupings. But strange thing, I'm a group person, but I'm also a loner. It's like this dichotomy. Uh, anyway. So when I, when, I, when I went through the Kekor, I went to the Grand Sambo Company, uh, and finally a uh, bunch of other stuff, and, and then, uh, then when I finally uh, got to, uh, actually the first radio program I was associated with, I was a poet in residence for WPRP radio, a uh, thing called Saturday, so in fact I'll be going to St. Louis soon, and so when I get there, we'll discuss that part like that, I'll interview JB and everything like that. But uh, right now we're talking about WBAI uh, after uh, in various events of blackness. At, at WPRB, uh, we also had a group, you know, I started with just me and a poet, as the poet, but then we developed a group, you know, the background group. And then uh, when I got to uh, WRSU, I created my own group, so I've always been a group like that. Then when I got to BAI, I started with just me and Bernard, me helping Bernard, but then a, a group coalesced around that. Now, I've always been a, a group oriented person. Uh, now one of the things when I got to the station, well anyway, I was, uh, one of the things that happened, uh, about, I got to the station in about 80, I want to say 82, 83, uh, and then, uh, and I was just, uh, I didn't have no programs like that. I think I was, I was working with Creative Unity at the time, and um, uh, I was, I was, I was, I was married, uh, I was married, and the, the younger, one of the kids, they were like, the, the kids were like 16, or well, 16, uh, uh, because, see, oh, here we go, let me just, right here. Um, so they were like, I don't say borderline trouble, but it's, it's like Ocean, New Jersey, you know, so, so I asked them, well, uh, so I do a little radio, what do you want to do, I want to keep them out of, you know, whatever happened, and so they both said, I want to do a print special, and I'm going like, oh, this is BAI, you know, because they, these are like old heads. I don't know, you know, when I, mean? well, I was saying that in my head, I said, sure, you know, no, no. But we created this print special. It was like, uh, 
like Paul Wonder had a, a, a what was it? How did that go? Oh, Hopte Slasi had a had a program. Oh, Labrish, he still has Labrish. I forgot how many hours it was. Maybe three hours, whatever it was. And then Paul Wonder had a soundtrack, and so the whole block ended up being like like midnight to something like 5.30 a.m. or something like that, so we, however long it was. So we just long print special because it was part of a, 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 mer a mer membership drive, what we call it a marathon, mer membership drive. They, they, you know, they don't want to raise money every week, you know, so so they had to some time off. So I just recruited everybody. Bernard was Bernard was uh, doing stuff. I even had Samori give a commentary on Prince, you know, you know how they diss this kind of thing. It was very well-rounded. And, 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 the, and the, 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 the end piece we played, uh, Purple Rain had just come out, but Paul Wonder was hooked up in, the, in, in Hollywood. He was personal friends to uh, the personal friends to the son who, of the producer of Jaws. So he had it in him many ends, and plus he, somehow, he, anyway, he, he knew some stuff. So he actually got the film, Purple Rain, in the, you know, as the film part, and he transferred it, right, to, um, to you know, quarter inch tape. It was a quarter inch tape that we could play on the on the air. Quarter inch, yeah, quarter inch tape, not half inch. Quarter inch tape, whatever tape it was. But the sound quality was so incredible, it's unbelievable. The sound was like you never heard anything like this before. Anyway, so we, I won't get to it, but we put on this thing. But I just want to show you this this young man here. He's about, that's, that's CT3, called CT3. Um, this is a, a Dion here, right there, like that. And so we, now, Baby D is not in this. Didn't come in. So we, us three is one with the core for the for the special. Uh, um, and so 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 that's what happened. So we put on this print special, and it was all arrays. I mean, even to to, 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 to create the special, we had a, I had a month of uh, of just uh, I started out just like maybe maybe one, one purple item, and then as the as the weeks go by, you know, we we'll add something else. And I had like purple uh, feather. I mean, it's this. Everything it was that, that so there was a talk of the radio, you know. So everyone's talking on the air, you know. This, this is what it was. And we had really, uh, we had, uh, we made these carts, uh, you know, promotion carts, right? I had one with Bernard, one CT3, and Dion made a cart. I don't think I made a cart. Maybe I didn't. Uh, um, Lynn Samuels made a cart. Her cart was the best, you know. Uh, I think we had four cards. Maybe I made a card. I'm not really sure. But Lynn Sanders was the best because I mixed them into that. It was like really incredible, you know. Anyway, um, I just want to, because I'm going to end here somehow. Um, I think this is, uh, at, at the time, you no, know, the, I, I hadn't created, I hadn't, created, I hadn't been working with Creative Unity yet, as far as on the air. So anyway, I, I found this letter. And uh, oh, we all had a CT3. It was CT3. Dion just was Dion, and I was T. I said that was that was the, the crew, you know. Uh, that was our, our our radio names on the, on the thing. So I'm gonna read this letter to you. Sorry, it's kind of long, but that's what it is. Uh, on the cop says, "Yo, T, drop me a line sometime." Okay, it's Dion uh, Thompson, uh, 1409 Rustic. Uh, uh, drive, build, whatever, uh, Ocean Township, New Jersey, that's where they live. Um, and it's direct, this is directed to me at WBAI 1988. So we had done the print special already, I think. So we had to do some, uh, some other little specials before. Oh, yeah. Uh, January 18th, 1988. Anthony Sloan, hey T, what's up? Uh, I'm bad. Um, I'm glad I'm I'm bad. You got me. Oh, I'm glad you got me hip to Creative Unity. Okay, because I just created, well, I just put them on the air. They just got on the air. I think it was 86 or something like that. I've been listening to them every every Sunday from 1 to 3. These guys are great. Uh, and hear and, he, and hear a so, so, so refreshing voice to hear from the radio. I love to listen to them. Uh, uh, tell them to keep, keep, keep on, keep, keep, keep it on. You have to be difficult because he's writing the Prince thing with the twos and you know the numbers and all the rest of that stuff. Uh, last Sunday, uh, 117, uh, 88, uh, I heard the long version of the Prince song, of the of that Prince song, you know, the one where we can't understand the title. Uh, I love that. Okay, we we made up a group. Uh, I made the group. I, I created the group and I call them. Uh, and then oh, they, then that's when um, uh, uh, Steve Marshall came to the group. 
Baby D wasn't there. But she was like in and out. She, she wasn't really a part of it. But Steve Marshall came to the group, right? And I made the group. Yeah, cool, yeah, but Baby D was, was there for the, for the beginning because I called. We couldn't understand. We had we, we got these bootleg prints kind of stuff. We did print specials. And I started doing these print specials every, every half a year or something like that. But we couldn't understand. And it sounded like Boys and Girls of the New Boogie Groove. So I named the group Boys and Girls of the Boogie Bo 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 Groove. So that's who we were, right? Um, uh, do you have any new Prince music? Okay, because people, I will get this one printed. Actually, right now, I think Lace has all my Prince records, at least the recordings. The DVDs, who has the DVD? I mean, the uh, who has the uh, CDs? I don't know, but the actual records, the bootleg records too, I think Lace has them. Uh, uh, do you have any new Prince music? Please send me a tape of that new version uh, of or something, or something, I don't know. Uh, have, have you heard anything new about the Black Album? Me, I'm just, I, I haven't heard anything. Oh, by the way, the Black Album, this, this weekend, I'll be going, um, Jeannie's has her boat ride this weekend. And, uh, let me see, Jeannie has her boat ride this weekend. And then let me show you. Jeannie Hopper, Alexander, she, she's, she's doing whatever. But from the beginning, I've been associated with the boat. She's, Jeannie's one of my radio children. I've been involved social. This is the 20th year, so from the very beginning, I'm going to the boat ride. So I was lucky enough to be here. This might be the last boat ride. But let me do it. Jay Rodriguez on sax and flute. Jay Rodriguez is part of a, a Groove Collective, but Jay has been with Jeannie from the beginning. Also, Jay played on the Black Album. Fun fact. Okay. It all comes to circle. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, Black Album. I haven't heard anything. I know WBI is trying to raise funds and I wish <laughs> you all the best and uh, uh, of luck. If I, if I, I can't read this thing. Uh, if I can count, give me, I would, I guess if I had money, he would give the money, I want to. I heard, you know, I heard, I heard and no group to, oh, I heard, I know the group Creative Unity called at the age the weeks before last, and I write, and they they were funky. He heard he heard whatever their program was. WBI is very informing, and I hope you don't change. Do not one bit. You guys give the youth a chance, and you're and you're great for it. Uh, I thought the creative unit, the creative, the, I thought the commentary story on Bernard Getz was very cute, but informative. WBI is an innovative force that I uh, that informed its listeners with with humor and facts because what would life be if we couldn't laugh at each other or ourselves, you know? Thank you for your wisdom. And then he has this little thing. I love W oh uh, this is working. B best A at the opportunity to Okay. To uh, I inform. P.S. Yo T. I've been reading my little black book and it's taught me uh, uh, good from bad. Thanks. Oh, I gave him, I gave him a thing called a little black book. Uh, I call you, but I never know when you I can catch you. My mom listens to you on Wednesday No More Radio. I'm gonna listen if it's if it snows. That's the only way I can catch it, I'm in school. He's like in high school. Uh, well, write me and call me, and call me, see ya. Uh, your something, uh, Dion. Uh, please send me the tape, please. So that's Dion. Uh, I guess I bet that, but in 88, I guess, I had normal radio, has been on there. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was on since 86, and uh, Crave Unity was on there also. So I just wanted to share it with you. That's uh, that's the the baby oh, the baby boys, uh, the boys and girls in New Boogie Groove, which uh, was actually so Steve came to the Steve Marshall came to the station for that, and now Steve is part of the just Liquid Sound Lounge crew. See, see how this all works, 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 works. It's it's wonderful. That's my little legacy, radio legacy. The, my being me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from ADS of the ADOS. That would be American descendants of 
chattel slavery, of which, you know, all Creative Unity, the Boys and Girls, Blue, Blue Boogie, Groove, everybody, we all descendants of, of, of chattel slavery. Yeah, American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>